McKay, you are a reactor engineer at Oklo. Um, do you mind starting this interview off by sharing why you decided to join the team at Oklo? Yeah, sure. Um, so I first heard about Oklo uh, from a friend of mine, and he was always kind of hyping it up and just was so excited about what Oklo was doing and always talked about the kind of clean energy aspect of it and sounded really like hopeful and really excited about the technology and the good that it can do in the world. And I was really looking for something like that and wanted to do something kind of from the ground up. And I love that with Oklo, we're really building something from, uh, we have the chance to build something from scratch and, or from, you know, I can be part of the beginning design phases and uh, I think the team is great and they are very realistic about their goals and they're very adventurous in their outdoor lives. I feel like they're very non-typical uh, kind of Silicon Valley startup type or kind of nuclear vibe. They're just nice kind of in between, which is really something I was looking for. Um, but I didn't know anything about the nuclear industry uh, either. So I think I just loved cool things like cars and airplanes and architecture. And uh, I think just the fact that the technology is something that's really cool that's going on in Oklo and uh, it has such a meaningful and impactful thing for the world was something that really meant a lot to me. Before joining Oklo, you, you worked at Tesla. You worked in their engineering, surface engineering department, I believe. Do you mind sharing a little bit about what that role entailed, your position there entailed, and um, how does it compare to your role now at Oklo? Sure, yeah. Uh, so uh, I worked at Tesla before, and I worked on a team uh, of mechanical engineers and a team of project coordinators. And we basically, our job was to make all the tools uh, to repair vehicles either on the assembly line or out in the field, so at service centers. And, you know, just starting out, it was like a dream come true to be in the factory and see all these cool cars. Like, I'm a huge car fan. And to see the, all the robotics that were going on and uh, to be something that was so, I guess, kind of popular in the world was just really just the coolest thing in the world. I, I was so excited. Um, but the, the thing I noticed kind of later on was it wasn't exactly the role I liked. I think I kind of, uh, did it because it was the opportunity that I needed, but I was such a small cog in a big clock. And so I was looking for something really different. So when this opportunity at Oakland came, I was really excited to jump on it and kind of in my daily life. Now I, I do so much just because as a startup, you're wearing so many hats. And I'm doing everything from doing coding, I'm doing CAD work, I could be machining parts out in the shop, uh, I'm working with vendors, having meetings, uh, I'm doing research and reading uh, up about all these cool different technologies, uh, doing a lot of analysis and design, um, and doing something where I can help be part of that kind of creative design process and, you know, use a lot of this uh, kind of hardcore technical knowledge that I studied and be able to apply that to something that can really help people is something that I'm really grateful for. Yeah, it sounds like you wear a lot more hats at Oklo, and it sounds like you're having fun with it. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's awesome. And having worked at Tesla, uh, I really want to pick your brain and talk to you about Tesla's master plan, um, which is something that is available on the website and it outlines as a plan that outlines their their main objectives. Do you see any similarities there between Oklo's objectives and Tesla's? Yeah, so one of uh, Tesla or Tesla's um, company vision is accelerating the world's transition to sustainable energy. And they do that through, or, or part of their business model, which a lot of other companies follow as well, is they start very small, and then they, they grow bigger. And so what Tesla did was they started with the, uh, the Roadster back in 2008. And that was a, a pretty uh, kind of crude prototype almost. They only made a few thousand of them. Um, and it was pretty expensive. But the big difference was it was very 
different than electric cars people were used to. And so uh, people were used to kind of golf carts uh, as electric cars. They were slow and, and not very attractive. And so when they came out with a Roadster and it was this beautiful kind of sports car that was fast um, and it was cool, that, that's really all people cared about. Uh, they didn't, it didn't matter if it was expensive or not as efficient or the interior was awful. Um, it, it just really changed the industry and built the foundation for Tesla to then move on to their other cars. And then in uh, 2012, I think they started with the Model S, which was cheaper, but then had more range and a better interior. And then slowly they've been going throughout the years and making cheaper cars and, and making more of them. And now they're making thousands of cars a week um, that are, are more accessible to people. And how that's similar to what we at Oakla want to be doing is we're starting with our first uh, reactor design, which is the Aurora Powerhouse. And that is, you know, it's a, a smaller, uh, smaller electrical output. And even though nuclear is very efficient, it's not as efficient as other designs that are out there, but it's really easy to be designed and built and licensed for the NRC. And we want to start small with something that's easy to be proven and get into the industry and use our expertise and, and learn through designing the Aurora to later on go on to bigger and bigger reactor designs that can go to more and more people. And using that kind of forcing the market to change and so and like show people, hey, this is what you thought nuclear was before. Here's what we can see it be now and here's how we want to scale and it can be clean, it, it's really transparent and it's really safe and we want people to be uh, kind of have their idea of what nuclear is change. Mm -hmm. um, and you also mentioned the US NRC, the US uh, Nuclear uh, Regulatory Commission. Um, and we are just this year really exciting announcement. We are the first advanced vision company to have our combined license application to be accepted uh, in the US. So that's really exciting. Are you, you must be excited to be working on something so closely. How excited are you to, to develop these powerhouses and bring them to market? Oh, I'm so excited. Um, I think it's every engineer's dream to see something that they've designed uh, on paper or on a whiteboard and then seeing that in the computer and doing a bunch of math on it and then finally being able to see it in real life, uh, that's one of my favorite things. Um, I love to see something go from that whole stage. And I think it's gonna be a really special moment when in a few years we go to turn on uh, the very first Aurora in Idaho and kind of see the culmination of all this work that we put in kind of come to life. Must be a very rewarding experience already because you worked so hard on the application itself. Um, and just like Tesla, we are a first mover in what we do in, in the sector, in advanced vision. Um, while you're working at Oklahoma when the application and whatnot, have you noticed any first mover advantages and disadvantages? Oh yeah, so there's, there's a lot of firsts for Oklo. Um We're the first privately funded uh, privately funded advanced fission company. We're the first non light water reactor design application to be accepted, the NRC. Um, and through being the first, you know, we really get to set the trend of how we want to do things. Uh, we get to work with the NRC to kind of work out the regulation and make it more applicable to uh, small modular reactors and different types of reactor designs. But and being first, there are growing pains. Um, you know, we don't have a lot of people. Uh, we all work very hard, and, we're, and uh, sometimes it is hard to work to get the regulation changed. You know, we're working in a very kind of old and established industry, and trying to make changes and accelerate things can sometimes be difficult. But I, I think we're we have a good traction, and we're really excited. And the NRC is very excited to kind of make these changes. Uh, to help improve the industry and create some more innovation and excitement there. Yeah, and we're on a good path, really good path, that's for sure. 
Um, so as we close this off, my final question to you is, do you think Oklo is the next Tesla? <laughs> um, I think uh, yes and no. Uh, I don't think we're trying to be Tesla uh, or follow their manufacturing methods or things, but I, I think yes in a sense that we're trying to get people excited about something that they weren't before and do it in a big way that changes the industry. Uh, I think we want people to see advanced vision as something that's cool and exciting and clean and reliable, help uh, climate change and help support other renewables. And, and that's, that's something that Tesla has done. Tesla has taken uh, cars that everyone loves and uh, was seen as kind of dirty before and maybe had people skeptical about electric cars and got them excited about it and made them want the over conventional cars. And if we can do something that is similar to that and get people excited about new react designs and, you know, being more efficient and having clean energy and ending energy poverty in places, uh, it's really going to uh, really changed the industry, uh, just kind of like Tesla does. And I do see us becoming as big as Tesla one day. And, and, you know, we'll have to find out how to kind of mass produce these reactors. Uh, but that's the fun day when we have clean energy so accessible to people. Um, and just like what Tesla's motto was of helping people transition to sustainable energy, we do that by making reactors people want. And we know people want things that are, are safe and innovative and fun and cool and, and transparent. And those are all these things that we've tried to establish kind of in our company culture at Oaklo. You, you summarized it really, really well. And uh, I just had to ask that question. I just thought it's a, a fun question, especially when you've worked at Tesla. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for your time and sharing your thoughts today. Of course, anytime.